ask me to, uh, wait I'm, I'm just deciphering the chat room right now um yeah yeah mickey james career spans about 20 years uh yes i remember alexis Lurie on the questionable dvds i got from walmart that one time hmm. <laughs> um, we, 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 i've taught the, the, the women of wrestling dvd it was right? it was the no 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 it was the women's extreme wrestling women's extreme wrestling, slash right? women's exotic wrestling it was this it so they were the the cleansed versions right but there was definitely some allusions to some of these girls might be strippers um, but she was on it and she was very good. Like, it was like, like she was the, like, oh, okay. You know, and then, then she popped up and I was like, oh wait, this is, she's Mickey James. Like, this is going to be good. Like she was like a really good indie, you know, um, um, you know, women's wrestler. And, you know, in that era, I think they were kind of hard to find. Definitely. You know, and you know, we're talking like what, mid 2000s, late 2000s, something like that. But you know, it's one of those, you get one of those like, like, like giant, like, Hey, a 10 disc set, but they're all double sided DVDs. <laughs> you know, and each of them was a volume. Right? Jesse's saying, tell us about the DVDs. Work. So let me tell you about these DVDs. So when you look up women's exotic wrestling, women's extreme wrestling, it, it, and in the end, they were running out of ECW arena when, you know, everybody was running out of the ECW arena in the mid to late 2000s. Um, like literally everybody. That list was crazy when we went there the first time. Um, and... And I think you would still find them from time to time on pay-per-view because they ended up turning into like lewd uh, pornographic. They had a PWO called the Pussy World Order, for instance. Like that's how big, like they were just straight up, like the wrestling was certainly secondary in this promotion. Actually, I think about it. It's starting to sound familiar to something else that I I'm just trying. Like, I'm just trying to think. The XPW it. guy was like a, uh, like a porn director too. Like, yeah, very weird, like. Era. That wasn't that wasn't Feinstein, was it? It was somebody else. His name is Rob Black. Rob Black, yeah. Rob Black was involved with the porn industry. I mean, you know, remember, re porn goes back with wrestling a long way. Absolutely. Because Jenna Jameson. Well, no, no, no. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, directly <laughs> like that. But I'm talking about uh, Coliseum Video. Oh yeah, absolutely. that carried all the WWF um, um, videos. It's like the stuff I was stealing from mm -hmm. my dad. Yeah, it was. But but they were they they were a pornography distributor. And of course, Lord Alfred so. Hayes was on both. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. Uh, so, but 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 yeah. So I mean, no, that, because I mean, it was he still did the promotional consideration. I mean, that rolls. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> just imagine if you're getting ready to load up a porn video from Coliseum Home Video, <laughs> and the first thing you hear well, is no, no, no. promotional consideration paid for by the following. Remy, where's the iPad? Sorry, sorry. I realized my note taker wasn't in front of me for me to note some things. Um, <laughs> I, I, I understand? No, I don't. No, no, let me clarify. The porn was not released under Coliseum Home Video. The porn was the label. Uh, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm getting this confused now. Coliseum okay. Video. Okay. The distributor was a distributor of pornography. Coliseum Home Video was the label to separate that on your shelves. Oh, okay. Okay. Like that was the cover I for the po porn company that distributed WWF co <laughs> content. Wow. That, that My version's like, way funnier. Yo, your version's way funnier, <laughs> but I'm just saying that's not what I'm trying to get yeah. at here. Okay. I'm trying Mike, I'm trying to educate you on history, okay? Wait till you get wait till you get the the dark side of the ring on this stuff. Tina's also saying Gangrel is a porn director. The Gangro is a porn. I mean, listen. Okay, yes. Okay, there's a lot of crossovers. There's one night in China. There's the, just the China Godfather. In um, re legit ran a um, a strip club in Vegas. Well, that's a strip club. That's not. That's not porn. Right? Major I mean, guns. That's 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 a different. Depends um, on how much money you have, Sork. That's a different uh branch. Sork depends on how much money you have. Depends on how well you do the tables. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true too. So, um, but the point is, don't necessarily think you should pick up uh, random wrestling DVDs about women at Walmart. Is that where we're at with this? I think we got back to that. I think we got back around sure. there. Okay. Mike? <laughs> DP saying so like Buena Vista is the cover for Disney. Yes! Yes! Touchstone, <laughs> Touchstone, Touchstone Pictures is where uh, we put the raunchier movies under Disney, you right? Know, you know, if Three Men and a Baby. If there was an analogy I thought that was going to happen from tonight, Buena Vista is to Disney as Coliseum Video is to porn. 
definitely wasn't on my radar. 